Welcome everybody back to WWE Universe. We are now at WrestleMania. An event synonymous with Four titles will be on the line. I'm not gonna overwhelm myself with trying to do the tag team titles Mania. and the women's titles the and the women's tag team the titles. It's just too many bets. Concentrate on one time. So in the comments, and United States, Universal, and WWE Championship. This is one of the most match between uh, WWE history. The match between um, Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman. So we got four title matches and one grub match. Battle Royals, Intercontinental, Battle Royal United States, one on one. Royal Rumble winner Seth Rollins versus the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman in his corner. And we got AJ Styles versus uh, WWE Champion Daniel Bryan with Eric Rowan in his corner. Now let's get it guys. Welcome to WrestleMania. This is WWE Universe. And let's get it. Coming up is a battle that could end up in places no one knew existed in this building. It'll be Drew McIntyre against Braun Strowman. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's watch this grudge match backstage. Backstage brawl between Drew McIntyre hey, and Braun Strowman. They both want to be number one contender for that Universal Championship, whether it be Seth Rollins or Brock Lesnar. For the Universal oh, yeah. Championship. Beautiful technique. Ouch. Ooh, what impact. How strong. What a press. Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. It appears his opponent has his number right now. It's incredibly dangerous back there, guys, especially with all we those got a four weapons man the IC title battle royal. A four-man United right States right title battle like royal. Right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the AJ end. Styles right versus here. Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Right, and Seth right, Rollins, the Royal right. Rumble winner, versus Brock Lesnar right, for the Universal oh, Championship. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet. We will he still appears to be in pretty have, good shape. Uh, if his opponent somehow loses the game, he could likely go back to this moment as the tender shots, but we'll probably do it after WrestleMania. And uh, right along with the uh, women's titles. Probably do that stuff after WrestleMania. I'm not going to do too much at one time. Concentrate on the singles titles. Me and the singles titles. The women may get their own, uh, they may get their own show. Or their own pay-per-view. Who knows? You need to find a table to hide under or something. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. Drew 
What could Braun Strowman do here? Up the odds for success. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Part one and a part two. You know, I have a horrible feeling that we may be witnessing his permanent demise here, guys. This is bad. What a headbutt. But can he follow up here? Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. Part one, I'll probably have this great match, of course. Oh and then the uh, IC and US title battle rolls. Then the second part, I'll probably be um, the WWE and Universal titles. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. One looking to defend, the other looking to take away the crown. This is going to be And we will be great. crowning a new Intercontinental Champion because Bobby Lashley went down with an injury. So the IC title, there will be, we will crown a new Intercontinental Champion in this battle royal. We will crown a new Intercontinental Champion. Because Bobby Lashley was the current Intercontinental Champion when he went down with an injury. So, we will crown a new Intercontinental Champion of Raw in this Battle Royal. EC3, Alalis, Finn Balor, and Dean Ambrose. because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. The following contest is a four-man battle royal and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds. It's nice to see Elias isn't wearing his grandmother's kimono tonight. You know what WWE stands for, right? Oh, go ahead. We want earplugs. Walk with Elias. As you guys know, Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world. answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that. If they are. Who's going to be the new Intercontinental Champion?
step foot in WWE. Finn Balor. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. champion as I said before because Bobby Lashley he was the Intercontinental Champion but he went down with an injury before WrestleMania so he will crown a new Intercontinental Champion. Plenty on the line here in this huge fatal four-way match and it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet and understandably so. Throughout his time in WWE Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike Sometimes with a six string on the back. But there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I guess we should take up something like naked model airplanes instead of live music performances. If they would qualify as such. Close quarters. He's got a target on his back now, and I wouldn't be 
surprised to see a three-on-one attack here. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he'll do some things going much differently for him heading into this match. German suplex! Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this the championship match. Eliminated. For a lot of EP3 of Fimbala. And the Lawless is eliminated. It's for EC3 and the right We've seen champions heading to matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. There will be a new Intercontinental Champion between EC3 and Fimbala. And Fimbala is your new Intercontinental Champion. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Was just as tough mentally as it was physical. What an incredible journey this man to get to this. Congratulations to Finn Bala. He is your new Intercom champion. Up next is the long awaited championship match. Next up on SmackDown. Match, what we've all been waiting for. Ali will be defending his United States Championship against Jeff Hardy, Samoa Joe. And Andy Alamas, whatever his name is. In this four man battle royal. Oh, this is going to be good. Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California. Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment's ever encountered. Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. A very dangerous, dangerous man. The excitement level just went through the roof in this arena. One half a team extreme. The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. And introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. A true daredevil in every sense of the word, Jeff Hardy is immune to fear. Synonymous with tag team title reigns, a former United States champion, former world heavyweight champion. And what's amazing to think about, guys, is that the career of Jeff Hardy started at just the young age of 16.
This guy here is the real deal. The future has arrived. And introducing the challenger from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 215 pounds, Andrade Cien Almas. Andrade Cien Almas, a superstar that lives his best life, has worked incredibly hard, and isn't afraid to let you know about it. Well, he's a third-generation superstar. Really has uh, been refocused here in WWE. Much of that success can be attributed to his business manager, Zelina Vega. Yeah, Zelina Vega takes care of all the exterior factors in his career, whether it's his travel, his finances, his meal prep. So Andrade Cianomas can focus solely on competing inside the ring. Uh, Zelina Vega is as intelligent and dangerous as she is beautiful. Soaking it all in. Great reaction from us. If you ask Andrade Cianomas, he'll tell you wherever I... And introducing the champion from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Mustafa Ali. One of the most exciting competitors in all of WWE, Mustafa Ali can drop your jaw with some of his mind-blowing offense. Calls himself the heart of 205 Live, no doubt about that. One of the most exciting competitors in WWE today. Leave a mark. Nailed it. Look out. We might be in the beginning stages of an assault. Oh, yeah. Hurricane Rana. It's safe to say he had his opponent well scouted there. Brilliant analysis, Saxton. Beautiful. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. My. The champ's absorbing some offense here. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's Ouch. plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been. But there's a ton of potential risk. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. And so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael. Which is saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate. And so far, I think it's delivered. You gotta believe this one's over. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Oh, nasty impact. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. 
and almost none of them are good. Harsh impact. Boom! <laughs> German suplex! You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here, and it's rare we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Ooh, what impact. The challenger not in a great place. A big fight field inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Suplex! Oh, damn it. I knew it was only a matter of time. How's Holmes going to survive? Um, had a plan and executed it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Pull your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. Escapes trouble there. see a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Takes him down in a major way too. And a kick out by Jeff Hardy. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Oh, Jeff Hardy is in position. The harsh impact. The challenger simply will... This could be it. Cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. No spot here. The pen's broken up. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. And Andrade Almas slips out of harm's way. And no luck against Ali there. Good try. Oof. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. I'm not sure he has much left. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing. Big time slam. Vicious. And the champ kicks out. How'd he do that? Got the leg hooked. Oh, what impact. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Jeff Hardy just barely getting out of the way. So quick. Jeff Hardy just barely getting out of the way. So quick. Oh, what a slam that hurt. Jeff Hardy looking to attack from the ropes. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Incoming. One ton bomb. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Champion. There he goes, crashing to the floor. We got a cover. Oh, how resilient was that? Just power out. He knows he's in trouble. Kohina clutch. Kohina clutch. Kohina clutch. This one's over, Byron. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Beautiful strategy. You stop the blood flow to the brain, you go to sleep. It's that simple. Jeff Hardy's going. You gotta believe this one's over. Not every ounce of that one. This could be and Jeff Hardy's intentions are very clear now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Well, that was a close call. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Ooh, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Showing off some of his speed there. And Andrade Almas slips out of harm's way. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. And no luck against Ali there. Good try. Boom! <laughs> there he goes, crashing to the floor. He's going for the pin. When this guy's on, look out. Samoa Joe did it. And here's another look at why the Fatal 4-Way is one of the most unpredictable and entertaining matches in WWE. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, and the new United States Champion, Samoa Joe! Now that's eking out a win. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. That's one of those personal WrestleMania moments and memories that will last a lifetime. I'm so glad we all got to be a part of it.